four will be unveiled. <laughs> um, and a lot was shown today. Everything really? but. And you remember E3 2011 when Nintendo came out and showed. Everybody was confused. What's the system? Oh, yes. I do oh, remember. Kind of the same thing happening here. Oh, really? Huh. It was still... I wasn't completely disappointed. This thing in my hand has revolutionized the world. <laughs> Why would the inventor of it need to see it? <laughs> there was... It was a two-hour long conference. I can't say... I don't think anybody can say they were completely disappointed by everything. Because <laughs> it was <laughs> cool. <laughs> there were cool parts, and then there was things that you wish were there which weren't. Yeah. So... How many things did you wish were there that weren't? Quite a few! Ridiculous things like <laughs> Let me making boobs and stuff? tell you what you're not going to find out. First, no, no you're, not gonna, you're not going to see the system. Uh huh. You are not going to see the price point. Uh huh. Uh, you're going to not get an exact date. Uh -huh. Um. Maybe they should have spent more time doing that instead of doing this graphic. Let's start it. <laughs> Coming to you, future. What are we going to get? Yeah. Blah. Blah. Okay. Yeah, all right, I'm in. Blah. I'm in. I like blah. Blah. This is how it started. I was a little jacked at this point. <laughs> Especially when they brought in one of my favorite bands. Starland Vocal Band? Oh. And gave a little nod to Bravia. One of my favorite commercials. Oh, I don't want to get flagged by metric. But if you watch this, there is a lot of old throwbacks to their old commercials here, which I was excited about. And you know, Sony's good for a montage. If there's one thing they can start press conferences with, it's a good montage. Good damn montage. Kind of what they're the best at. Yes. <laughs> They know how to start uh, a conference. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, leading up to this conference, they were releasing a whole bunch of videos that were doing a retrospective of all the old systems. I had prepared a retrospective this episode, going back and I gathered a whole bunch of old Sony commercials. But I threw it all out because this conference was way too long. I didn't throw it out. We're going to okay. do it one day. <laughs> well, don't Jesus. need that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> There's not enough time. I spent seven hours last night downloading commercials and organizing them and getting tracking down old, old shit. And now you're not using it. And now I'm not using it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all gone. <laughs> Ooh, punch to play. Oh, God. Part of the reason I did that was because... Um, I, th I thought that they would be unveiling their new advertising campaign uh, today. Nice. But they didn't today. They didn't really show us much new branding at all for the next system. Oh, weird. Really? All you're going to see today... All you're really going to see today is its capabilities, its power, and its user interface, which is... I was interested That's cool. in. Oh my so, god. Blast processing? Uh, 20 of them. 20 blast processors. Ooh. <coughs> And there was a lot of padding. For the content that was there, a lot of blah, 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 yeah. blah. blah, blah. <laughs> Fucking... You're cute. Someone's got a fluff before the money shot. <laughs> <laughs> That's someone's <laughs> job. <laughs> For something that was hyped up to be a consumer event, it felt a lot like we were like at a shareholders meeting being wow. pandered to about their ideal of the future of gaming instead of like getting you hyped. Mm. They started off Ladies well. Ladies and gentlemen, please and welcome this happened. Andrew House. Oh no. First of all, it's Andrew House. No Jack Trenton. Jack Trenton, you might remember, he's kind of um he came out last year after uh like after Kevin Butler. Mm. Good he afternoon um, and to those I don't know how to describe him. He's a he's a cool guy. He seems like a genuine guy. <laughs> like he spe welcome. speaks kind of shoots from the hip he so seems like, but <laughs> they brought this guy up. <laughs> So it was okay. a very like, I'm going to say this line now. And now today, we're going to say these lines now. And over here, I'm going to say this line to you. And it's just here. For about five to ten minutes of this. And it just killed the mood. On 
the stream, I'm just sitting there like... The consumers changing behavior. Mm. The chat was going like, boring, get off the stage. <laughs> oh my like, god, his hands are tiny. Yeah, I think he's a tiny man. <laughs> put your, put your hands on top of mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Little, little hands. <laughs> Lawyers. <laughs> so... <laughs> On a console or a handheld device. All he's and saying is just like bringing gamers together, a great new powerful gaming. platform, and blah 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 blah, and really the history of PlayStation, and we've been doing this forever, <laughs> and it's our goal to make everybody play together. And fucking bullshit. Who the fuck Playing fucking cares? Working is unfinished swan. The and he's tired. Unfinished yeah. swan. We actually have to play that. Yeah, yeah. They always like to mention how they do. It was on sale on PlayStation Network. <laughs> Every facet of PlayStation really continue to become... Was it? I think it's actually free now, almost. I think, I think it was free. I think I'll wait for the finished version. But up, up, but up, but up. All right. Uh, see you guys <laughs> next week. That one fell flat. I figured I just... I didn't have enough time to edit all this out concisely, so I figured this would give you the good yeah. feeling of what you missed. Look at that collage. I feel good about what I missed. I want to yep. play in that wraparound screen theater, though. That yeah. It's pretty awesome. In fact, I should have played the intro with. I played the downloaded intro. They showed some footage of it as it, that intro played in the theater. It looked like it would have been badass to be there. Like it's all crazy shit going around you and stuff. And that was his unveil. Next generation platform, PlayStation Four. Bitches. Also, uh, I'm doubting that is the final the logo. logo. Oh, I don't no, think I they've think so, not. Not. No. they haven't like branded yet. I don't think. just put insert PlayStation 4 logo here. It's yeah. so weird that they came out with this event. They, uh, We're doing stuff. Don't worry about it. Honestly, so I don't know why they did this event. Yeah. I don't know why they did it. They could have waited until they had something really insane to show at E3, to me, in my opinion. Like, I don't think this is going to help their cause in the, in the eyes of gamers. What we saw today. Again, don't get too disappointed. We're about to see some cool shit. Okay. Mainly from the games angle. Just to yeah. hype it up, because Nintendo didn't really do much hyping up. Like, no one knew this Who cares? Like, so. wait for E3. The gamers yeah. could wait. Like, true. all they had to do, if this was for shareholders to say, yes, we are bringing a system to market, um, th all they had to do is tell shareholders we're bringing a system to market. <laughs> and Watch email. E3. Yeah. Hey guys, <laughs> we're totally E3 doing again? stuff. Wait for it. <clears throat> uh, June. And if this was for shareholders, well... <laughs> oh, the shares they'll have. That's the new controller, by the way. We'll see that in a moment. But if this was for is that shareholders, new controller? mission a accomplished. That's at the closing bell. Oh, really? That's like wow. thirty points over the day from the end of the press conference. Holy I think shit. this is the beginning oh, to the that's end. That's ridiculous. So shareholders did not see what they wanted to see. Apparently. <laughs> oh wow. Um, what? Nothing. That's the point. Yeah. <laughs> the only thing we saw was stuff from uh, other game companies. Like, I'm excited about what the game companies have brought to the table. Here's the first of yeah, them to show us something welcome, interesting. Thank you. Oh, he he a, comes out. Andy mentioned my role on the development of the next generation. This kind of started um, about five years ago. Interesting, because he seems like a genuine nerdy developer who could has become proficient at public speaking. I'm good for him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't look like the typical guy, guy that comes out and is like. <laughs> He's but like the antithesis of Reggie. <laughs> How you doing, everybody? Atari 2600, which was a dominant console when I started in games some 30-something years ago. <laughs> All the way up to the PlayStation 2 had pretty much been a single-purpose device. Insert the cartridge, the CD... So the he's coming out, even though he's here for a gaming company, actually, he's for... Sony's internal gaming com uh, the one that makes their first party some of the stuff cool. So he comes out and talks a little bit more about what we're going to find. The only, we, we found out very scant details about the hardware itself, which he's about to say, I think. But it's a lot of pie in the sky still. Yeah, he is. Helps sell the emotion. Well, yes, wow. that's the thing. A lot of people come out here, like Sir Jonathan Ives, I usually say, is like the master at it you know the design head at apple mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the guy who comes in and says like we've developed something new and uh completely revolutionary knighted? yes he's been really? fucking knighted i Holy fucking fuck. hate jonathan Ives. wow <laughs> and he's just knighted. he always talks as though like you should jack off to this new thing he made when he's just tweaked the fucking design of the iphone 4 <laughs> into the iphone 5 
Um, so but he's got a knack for it of acting as though he's done something new every time. Uh, but well, anyway. <laughs> she does have like a little similarity to Jim Carrey. <laughs> Not a little bit. This guy? Yeah. Like in the eyes sometimes. Yeah. They go a little like crazy. I hope you're feeling everybody's pain by proxy here. <laughs> Slow this down. Remember, this is at four times speed right now. Ah, Jesus Christ. I'm kind of into it. Shut that damn screen. Harnessing, so they're talking about making the console more developer friendly. Right off the bat, it's going to be more developer um, uh, uh, friendly because it's on an x86 PC uh, CPU. That means basically a, like a standard Pentium, what's in your computer right now. The previous, the PS3 was a cell processor, like almost a pri proprietary technology. The, um, so it was hard for developers. They hated porting to it and stuff. Um, of it's also what gave the PS3 yeah. its power, to use but it was really hard to get that so juice out. You had to like relearn, time, you know, a new, a new, a new architecture. That's the only real hard info that was given. Eight gigabytes of memory, which is a step up from the last. What did the PS3 have? Four? Did two? Anyways, mm. I still think it should be more. RAM is fucking cheap. Four. Yeah, yeah. It's of highest <coughs> yeah, let's. The one you get a good one back. good for like now. What about in a couple years when it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it doesn't yeah. seem like much. It's average now, really. But remember that the it's only running the game. So. Five hundred and twelve yeah. megabytes. What? Wow. Really? Jesus. Son of a. Huh? Bitch. Wow. So I guess eight gigabytes is a lot. I still say whatever. I don't fucking care. <laughs> How many terahertz oh, is that? And it'll have a hard drive. <laughs> Big 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 hard drive. That's good though, yeah. That's yeah, good. sure. Hard yeah. drives are great. Um, and there's the new the new controller. Uh, okay. <coughs> so You're changing it. What's what do you see in here? That middle thing. That big that thing, thing in the middle, middle right? Thing. It's a got big a speaker. speaker. Oh yeah. Oh, that's yeah. actually a microphone. Oh, a mic. Oh. Um, Two new buttons? They didn't actually talk much about the oh, yeah. microphone today. Or those um, are starting. Yeah, starting. Oh, to like yes. Like. Yeah. By the way, you're listening to Starship Amazing's Foolish. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. So you're um, saying I won't need a headset to be called a fag while playing Call of Duty? Yeah. You can, <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where the voices will come over if they'll come over your speakers I if like you don't have a headset. Indent or the indent part on the joysticks. That'll be cool. Yeah. Thumbs slip oh, around yeah. a lot. Um, oh, yeah. That, that is a change, isn't yeah. it? Because yeah. they've always had them yeah. pushed out. complete con. Back. So the yeah. thing in the middle <coughs> is a touchpad, kind of like the back of the PS Vita. Uh, it's a multi-touch pad. Cool. It's not a screen. I thought it would be cool if it had LEDs behind it or something at least, just to like glow or something. Yeah. But it doesn't apparently. Um, no other fundamental changes except you see that one little button up there. Uh, that? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? Um, you'll find about that in a minute. Um, and <laughs> the other thing, <laughs> they'll talk about it a Don't lot. That's that actually button. probably what they talked about oh, the God. most today, is that button. Can the controller like Red Ring of Death? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> um, that, little, uh, that little thing on the front uh -huh. is a glowing LED that will be the color kind of like the move. Um, oh. Tells you what player you are. But it's like a super what, they barely talk about it today. It makes it look like it floats, doesn't it? But that thing is going to be a move. Yeah. Oh, okay. Your controller will be the same functionality. Cool. They didn't really go into much detail. I don't even know if they confirmed it, but it's all, all but confirmed mm -hmm. that that is going to have move functionality. So instead of having to get out a move, you'll have the same sort of pointer me mentality like okay. that your move had. Or huh. whatever kind of... Yeah. So... Okay. We'll see. So that's the new controller, though. It looks a little bit different um, from the profile. It doesn't look that much wider. Share button. Well, there you go. It's a share button. Share. <gasps> share. And we'll find out about that in a moment. And that light bar. Yeah. I don't know what he says. Is that USB? What does he say officially here? And a light pad is a, uh, excuse me, a light bar as a simpler, more friendly way to identify players. And this new controller was designed in tandem. S with a second peripheral, That's a, big a thing. stereo camera that can yeah. sense oh. the depth okay. of the environment in front of us. So, two things that they don't go into into detail on. That glowing bit, which again, all but confirmed that that is a move functionality, especially since they show it yeah, yeah. pointing right yeah. at that fucking yeah. camera. Mm -hmm. That's the new PSI, apparently. They also go into no detail about that thing. Huh. That is all you're gonna see. And 
like you said, it's a stereoscopic one. Speculation would say it's going to try to compete with the Move. The, 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 the eye with the Move was already pretty damn good at sensing depth, but stereoscopic's just gonna make it all the better. How far beyond that it's gonna go, who knows, because it has had some optical recognition technology in the past in some games where it can, you guys saw that thing where it cuts out your body mm -hmm. and you fight yeah, in it yeah, in the yeah. game? Oh yeah. 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 And it did pretty good for something that's just yeah. a camera and no Kinect type technology behind it. Whether this thing's gonna have more than just a stereoscopic optical ability or if it will have some infrared, that would encroach on the, in the Kinect, but they are definitely going to try to compete, I think, with the Kinect um, in some way. Yeah, why wouldn't they? At, at the very least, I think they're hoping to like maybe port over some of the shoehorn features for Kinect better with Kinect features, like on Mass Effect and I don't know, yeah. all those other things, oh. and have the developers do the same with theirs or something. Uh, yeah. <laughs> in other words, we're probably not gonna care. Uh, let's keep going. Use it for a day. A stereo camera that can sense the depth of the environment in front of it. Well, the thing is, like, what do you do like with the connected two or three effect? titles that will make novel Nothing. use of it? Oh, really? Nothing. It's horrible. No. <laughs> <laughs> that will make. You'll see two or three titles that are like, oh, that's really cool. Like, why don't yeah. more developers do that yeah. with it? Yeah. Do and then innovative that's things. That's it. Yeah. That's like no others will do anything with it. To track the three D position of the controller, especially via with PlayStation its light and mode. like proprietary programming. Yeah. Well, now, the hackers will always do the more demo. interesting things, too, with it. Yeah. So that's all he says. The they got in more trouble for the PlayStation 1, right? Engine 4 from What's that? Like, like, hacking into the PlayStation? <clears throat> oh, yeah, yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here's another little note uh, of note here. He demos, uh, this is the old Unreal. You guys remember yeah, that Unreal yeah. demo? Yeah. Well, well this kid. isn't it. This is something that Un Unreal hasn't There's even released. It's the same dude that wakes up in that demo, but now he's out and, like, Oh, he's doing splitting other the ground, and I can't find good quality of this because it's still yeah, only it's available on the stream. This is old or new? Look around. New, it's it's like it's not even on the Unreal bad. official site. Like this is a demo they have yet not to release for their engine. To I can't find it. But we also have all the mods and like my, my all the people in the chat couldn't find it. Now it's got an ice giant. Like evidently, we're going to see that released soon. Now, um, why they would just this. put that in there randomly and not like show the whole thing, yeah. I don't know why, but... Maybe that is the whole thing. <laughs> I doubt it, but I'm excited to see that because um, they confirmed that that previous demo you saw where he wakes up with all the lab and stuff does run on the PlayStation 4 hardware, it mm. can. And you're about to see a bunch of tech demos that show some pretty awesome stuff yeah. that the PlayStation 4 can do. CPU and GPU on the same die gives them streamlined access to a common pool of memory. And the PlayStation enough. 4, we're taking an unprecedented step. For system memory, yeah, we're using like, GDDR5. This is like the memory, typically reserved for a half hour in. Holy shit. Yeah. What have you and seen? The new controller, yeah. Yeah. Some, talking. some of the specs. And earlier I said, we were using a highly... Right there, he and actually emotions. just talked about um, the GPU having GDR5 memory, which is like cutting edge, not many GPUs even have that right now. Uh, it allows for like very fast bandwidth transfer between the cool. GPU and its memory. I, I don't know that really, like how much that matters. I, I think it comes into play the most in in um, uh, particle physics, which you're about to see. And this is actually kind of impressive what he's about to do here. PC GPU. Principally, we've modified the GPU to make computers easier, which is to say- Look at that. Well, that's a simulation. GPU as a general purpose computer. Yeah. This next slide oh, that's my stream lag like at that point, but the here. GPU, not the CPU. Of course, the stream has Tasks shitty compression, but you'll see a better quality later. Will be but all the those particles, yeah. be, that's yeah. on the PlayStation hardware. Not the CPU. This happens oh. every time a new system is debuted. They always debut the like a bunch of shit falling on a bunch of other <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always more every time. <laughs> But if you imagine the practical purpose, if you took all of those and then added an algorithm to attach them to each other with an inter, like, splines, you could make, that could be liquid that just yeah. dropped. Mm -hmm. Like um, insanely detailed? Yeah. So that's interesting. Overall. Our goal has been to architect the systems to support a breadth of experience. Blah, 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 blah. I'm really looking forward to seeing how the developer community choose Again, so what a way to just... Everything's like so quiet in between, there's like no applause. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here's a new... This is a, this is a game. Candy? The game he's working on. Um, not the greatest game to lead with either. It, it looks cute. Here, check it out. War has come to our peaceful land. We must send our best to neutralize this threat. Who's that voice? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> FemShap. Yeah, it's Face Duck. <laughs> A veteran explorer, nice. military might. 
Um, yes, Doctor. I would like to make a small addition to the team. Pass out the beers, actually. Okay. Get those out here. Hey, bro. Just get some of those beers. <coughs> We're passing them. And we'll actually, um, we'll just quickly it take a, a quick break Wednesday. here and we'll come back and watch this trailer. So stay tuned.